TV Productions connecting you to the world. Greetings family and welcome to Chatufa Chete Chete Chatufa Kupela Kupela. This is Chatufa Television Production. I want to welcome you family, intercessors all over the world who are praying for our great new Zimbabwe. Thank you so much for doing that. May the Lord bless you for remembering Zimbabwe in your prayers because God is in it and indeed we are going there to the freedom of the Zimbabwean people. The season of change has come. The Zimbabwean situation is going to change. In the hands of the Lord, Zimbabwe will prosper. Mnangagwa government uh, uh, to arrest people with unregistered private polls. Just imagine, this is why we are saying we need to continue to fight for Zimbabwe because the level of dictatorship that we are now seeing in Zimbabwe is just becoming so dogmatic. And you know what? Uh, what we are seeing is that uh, ZANU-PF is now just beginning to shoot itself in the foot because the level of greed and corruption that we are seeing, just a few days we were talking about the uh, ZBC licensing where they now want to force people to buy licenses. You know, you can't pay for your car vehicle registration without a ZBC license. Just imagine. And it is so sickening because... Uh, now people who have to buy license for the house, you have to buy another license for the car. Because if you if they come to the house, they have to find a license. If uh, the father is out of the yard and he takes the, the license for, with the car, then when they arrive at home, they might start to uh, uh, you know arrest people at home again. Which means now the licenses have to be many. That is one thing that we continue to say. ZANPF is just milking from the poor people of Zimbabwe. The suffering people of Zimbabwe have had enough from this government. Now they want to arrest somebody with unregistered private bowls. Why should uh, a bowls uh, that somebody is digging with his own money he have to be registered? For what reason? All that they want is they want to force people to be paying taxes uh, for, for bowls. Just imagine, just natural water from the ground in someone's yard. In my own yard, I dig with my, my a bowl, I drill a bowl with my own money. And then I, have, I catch uh, the water that is just everywhere. Water that is just free. That is God's water. Imagine when you start to see governments becoming this greed. This is why the anger of the Lord continues to come on uh, uh, ZANU-PF and uh, these politicians. Because nobody must claim that the water belongs to them. It's a sin to God. Water that is uh, a natural resource. Nobody can say I manufacture water somewhere. I'm the one who causes water to be available to be there. There's no need for that to ever happen in any uh, country for that matter. But we continue to see ZANU-PF looking for schemes of, and ways of how they can continue to steal from the Zimbabwean people. Owners of unregistered bowls to pay hefty fines. So this is the report that we have here. And they're saying the government has issued a strong warning to people drilling boreholes in the upper uh, Gwai sub-catchment area of Matabelent North Province without proper registration with the Zimbabwe National Water Authority, ZINWA. In a notice dated to September 12th, which was seen by Newsday, the upper Gwai sub-catchment uh, council outlined the requirements for registering boreholes and wells and warned that those who fail to follow proper procedures will be fined heaven. The notice... Uh, which uh, Dima police assigned was posted to Mtlantila government complex in Vlawa. And this is all over. It's, it's, it's coming all over the country. And uh, this is a plan by just this rogue government to steal from the poor masses of Zimbabwe. And it's unfortunate that uh, it's a government that is already so corrupt, that are stealing already from the suffering masses of Zimbabwe, are, are found also still wanting to steal more and more and more from our people. Our people have suffered enough. Zimbabwean people have had enough under this dictatorship and this rogue and evil government. And for them now to want to claim that water belongs to them, this is really, uh, you know, very, very unfounded. And uh, when we continue to talk about our fight to free Zimbabwe, we are talking about issues like this. We can't have a government that wants to say the land, all land in Zimbabwe belongs to the president. It's something that we have started to hear after the coup. We never heard that during the time of Robert Mugabe. We used to know that land used to belong to the, the chiefs and the, the sabukus there, 
and the, the local administration, the local authorities are the people that own the land and they knew what to do with the land. But now of late, because of Mnangagwa, he is now declaring that he's Munumutapa, he's, a, he's the king of Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe is a Mafidi dynasty, it's a dynasty of Mnangagwa's family, and all land belongs to him, so he can do what he wants. This is why we have seen Mnangagwa's family selling off vast pieces of land in uh, especially Victoria Falls area, all because of this corruption. Obet Mpofu and the Mnangagwa family, they are selling out the pieces of land in, 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 in Victoria Falls, a place that they know that it's a tourist attraction area, that they know that if they buy land and they possess land there, they will be putting infrastructure so that when tourists come, they will be getting all the money that is supposed to be going to the country and uh, to the state or to individuals. So this is, this, is, this is a real problem that we are seeing of the greed. The Mnangagwa wants to continue to be milking money from Zimbabwe even after he's gone and his family, his children can continue, his children's children. But these are things that we are going to fight. We will fight these issues once Zimbabwe becomes independent because we know that they are acquiring these lands so corruptly and abusing power that they also uh, illegally have right now. So anything that Mnangagwa can do using his power that he possesses now can be challenged later because we'll, we'll be going back to 2023 elections and say Mnangagwa was not the de facto president. He was not legal. So whatever orders that he gave during during that tenure, whatever tenure that he has, has gone through was also illegal. And we can win that uh, that war in the courts. We can win that case in the courts, especially when courts become independent. So these are some of the issues that we are recording. We are putting them on record today, knowing that we will come back. That, that same government is the government that is coming today to want to tell Zimbabwean people uh, that we don't own that land. We, we don't, the water underground is not ours. We have to pay for the water that is underground. Imagine, they failed to provide piped water to the homesteads and people are deciding to have uh, drill boreholes and supply water for themselves and they want to follow again uh, to make sure that they get money again from water that is acquired by drills, uh, boreholes drilled in private homesteads. See, what kind of a government would, that would do this this is just a sign that this is not a government for the people, by the people. This is a government of itself, and they are all hell-bent on making money, on milking uh, the hard-end money from the citizens of Zimbabwe. But we are fighting so hard to bring liberty to Zimbabwe. And definitely, God on our side, Zimbabwe is going to be free. What they are doing today, they are not going to succeed. SANPF is going down, and all this oppression to the Zimbabwean people is coming to an end because God is in it. We are standing to fight to make sure that freedom comes to the Zimbabwean people. And indeed, freedom is our portion. We are winners. We are winning this struggle. Don't get tired, Zimbabwe. Let's continue to press on. Let's push on. ZANU-PF is going down. Very, very soon before we know it, ZANU-PF will be biting the dust and Zimbabwe shall be free. A new great Zimbabwe is coming on the horizon where everyone shall be free, everyone happy, everyone secured in the nation of Zimbabwe. A great new Zimbabwe. That is going to be one people, one nation, and one God. Thank you so much for joining me on this show. We will continue to be meeting in the upcoming shows. More shows are coming. Remain blessed. Love you all.